the kini printers i uh, i need to take you through a uh, quick guidance on servicing your printer wherever you are at home or at your workplace you can do this for yourself uh this is a uh, the scanning unit whereby you can use this uh, adf we call it uh, document feeder to feed more documents we have three parts to clean we have this rubber which is called a peak rubber we have a feed rubber and we have a separation rubber also blow we have two sensors here you can blow them so that your uh, dust doesn't accumulate uh, from there we have the platinum glass and we have the slit glass these ones you can clean with the rug provided by the manufacturer it is always in this compartment you can use it to clean anytime you have spots on this it will be transferred on your paper so always make sure this part is clean then you can put it back there after cleaning that is the scanner unit then we go down to the main units uh, we have the toner container the waste toner container this is where the the used toner comes in and it becomes waste to put it in or pull it out you press these two parts you press it and place it down uh, to remove the the dust that accumulates inside the machine you have to press this part labeled d and this label uh, a for egg then we have a part named G. This is where you remove it and dust it, maybe using some brush or a paper uh, or a, a rug. Then you put it back. We have the drum unit, which is labeled F, and we have the developer unit, which is labeled G. So to remove the drum unit, you need to open the left cover, the left cover. Then you press this button below the letter F you remove the drum unit remember uh, not to expose uh, the drum unit to light more than 5 uh, or 10 seconds so if you are experiencing dirty copies or spots on copy this is what you should remove and clean it if it needs a replacement, if it has marks that are, are permanent, you need to replace this part. Remember it is crucial because it, uh, it, it gives charges to the drum to take the image from the laser unit. This is a glass surface and we have a cleaner blade which is inside here. So in rare cases you will need to remove the cleaner blade. To plug it back, you slot it and clicks it, right? Uh, we have the developer unit. Remember, you cannot remove the developer unit before you remove the, the toner container. So to do that, you need to close this part, lift the lever, pull out the toner container, you pull it out, then you pull down that lever, pull down that unit, and then you can be able to slide it out. This is why by it picks toner and transfer it to the image that has been made on the drum so that it can be transferred on paper. So this is the developer unit. You can slot it back, sliding it. A, you slide in the drum unit, two slots. You slide it on the rails to avoid any damage on the drum surface then you lock this part lift up the lever put back the toner container make sure it it clicks put back the waste toner bottle and lock that unit we are through with that part we have uh, the transfer unit this is whereby transfer of uh, the image that is made on the drum is done here and this part is also very crucial so to remove it there is two buttons yellow buttons on each side you press them and pull it up to put it back 
you just slot it and press in okay there is a part we call a fuser unit this part to remove it you have to press these two buttons and pull it out All right if there are any particles on this they can cause paper jam we have the pressure roller and the upper fuser roller so it if it has any stains on it it will be transferred on the paper remember this part is very crucial it is the one that melts the toner on the paper so that it doesn't uh, you cannot be able to erase it on the paper so this part is very crucial don't mind it is always hot and it is always on speed so to put to, to put it back you have to slot it and slide it in press it until it clicks we have another part here these are the feed rubbers for the mp tray to remove it and service it you have to press it inwards you clean this surface the rubbers if they're dirty you clean them this part you also clean it this one is for separating the papers so it doesn't pick two papers or three so you slot it back after cleaning and make sure it gets in to its position so if you're done with that you close the door the left cover uh, we have the the cassette number one cassette number one to remove it you press at this handle there is a part you press you pull it out you remove it facing upwards put it somewhere safe then there is a part labeled p p for port you slide it out clean these two rubbers three rubbers actually we have the separation roller and we have the feed and the uh, we have the pick rubber and the feed rubber so you clean them so that you avoid paper jam number 0501 or 0502 in case of two trays slot it back and put back the cassette and then you can turn on the machine and you are done with your servicing thank you for watching